Hello all, myself is Kuppu Swami. I am a lecturer in Department of Computer Science, Pondicherry University. The topic of this presentation is about operating systems. Let me first start explaining what an operating system is all about. An operating system is a software that acts as a bridge between user and the computer. The operating system also governs the resources of the computer. The operating system is the first piece of program that gets loaded into the computer immediately after it gets booted. The computer operates at the binary level that is zeros and ones. The user cannot react with the binary numbers. The user will be operating at the high level language like English. So naturally we need a translator which will convert this natural language into binary level and binary language again back into the natural language. This conversion has been done by the operating system. Let me first give some examples for operating system. There are plenty of operating systems available in the industry. The list that I am presenting now is the popular list of operating systems. Linux, Microsoft Windows, Apple Macintosh, Sun Solaris, these are all the popular operating systems in the industry. In the case of Linux, we have various distributions of Linux like Red Hat, Ubuntu, etc. The recent version of Microsoft Windows operating system is called Windows Vista. In the case of Macintosh, the recent release is the Leopad. Operating systems usually provide two kinds of interfaces to its user. One is the character user interface and the another one is the graphical user interface. In the case of character user interface, all the commands are given by the user in the form of a text. The operating system will also react the output in the form of text. Here the problem is the user has to remember all the commands if at all he wants to perform some operation. The later development over the character user interface is the graphical user interface simply called as the GUI or GUI. All the modern operating systems supports the graphical user interface. It is not only the case with the computers where the operating systems are used. In the case of other devices like mobile phones also, we do have the operating system. Popular examples for mobile operating systems are Symbian OS and Windows Mobile etc. In one word, we can conclude that without the operating system, a computer will be nothing more than a paperweight. Thanks.